Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, we're going to make this a good old English stroke British lamb stew. Nice chunky vegetables in there. A beautiful bony lamb, super tender that meat is. Loads of little goodness is in there. It's really, really simple. Great for a winter. Super duper. Stop chatting, will you, Simon? Let's get on with it. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have here then. So potatoes peeled and cut nice and chunky, nice big pieces. Lamb there, I've got lamb. It's a bit more of a stewing lamb. It's not a great quality, but nice meat on it, a little bit of fat. There's about 600 grams of that there, a little bit of bone in there. Four regular sized tomatoes, chopped. Try and use a nice ripe tomato. And if you want, you could use a can of tomatoes, but I think the fresh are better. I've got like 100 grams of mushrooms there, keeping them whole like that. Carrots, again, you can see the ratio to potatoes. Again, nice and big and fat and chunky. One large onion, chopped. Some celery, which I think is pretty essential in this. Tomato paste, it's like 120 grams of that. Two teaspoons of thyme, couple of bay leaves, tablespoon of garlic, and if you can, some fresh rosemary. Rosemary and lamb, wonderful. Let's get to the cooker. Okay, so you're gonna need a large pot with a lid. We're gonna get the heat on quite high. I've got some oil in there, I'm using the sunflower oil. We're gonna start by dropping in our lamb. And we're gonna cook this for about four to five minutes on a high heat, just wanna seal it a little bit. Then we can move on. Okay, so I've just turned the heat down to a medium now. Obviously, absolutely nowhere cooked, but just got a nice bit of color on it. What we're gonna do now is drop in that celery, the onion, salt and pepper, the bay leaf, and the dried thyme. Medium heat, about another five minutes. Keep it moving. This is gonna be really, really delicious. So this is coming together really nicely. Now what I like to do now is I like to add some water or some stock and then boil it out a little bit to really help that meat tenderize. So I've got some beef stock that I'm using today. In that goes. Now you could, if you want, you can use chicken stock, vegetable stock, lamb stock, any stock you want. We're gonna to go to a high heat. We're gonna go for about 15 minutes. Okay, so that's boiling away. And what's that, that's done is pumped a load of flavor, first of all, into the meat and help it kind of just, you know, get a little bit more tender. What we're gonna do now is drop in our garlic, those fresh tomatoes. I can also drop in that rosemary now. And I'm lucky that I've got some fresh rosemary. If you don't, you could use some dried rosemary in here if you wanted. Okay, then stay on this high heat again. What we want to do is cook these tomatoes down. We want them to kind of disappear somewhat. I and mean, they won't completely disappear. But they're going to add to the stew. So about six or seven minutes then on the high heat. Give it a stir every now and then. So that is boiling away really nicely. You can see those tomatoes are starting to break down. They won't completely go. I'm gonna turn the heat down a bit now to a medium because it's been on quite high. We're now gonna add that tomato paste into the mix. We're gonna drop in our carrots, big, fat and chunky. We're gonna add the potatoes, even bigger, fatter, and chunkier. I'm now gonna add some water, or some more stock if you want, but that stock was pretty heavy that I put in. Medium heat, I'm gonna put a lid on this, and I'll be back 
in around eight or nine minutes to see how it's doing. Looks wonderful to me so far. Okay, let's jump in and have a look. I'm, before I open the lid, I'm just gonna turn it down to a simmer now. That's looking pretty good, isn't it? Right, let's drop in those mushrooms. I'm, I'm not cutting mine. If you want, you could cut them, but I'm just gonna go in whole with them. And we're gonna add one more ingredient, which I didn't show you earlier. And that is we're gonna drop in a bit of mustard. Now, this is English Coleman's mustard. If you're English, you'll be very, very familiar with this. It's actually very strong. We're gonna grab a nice hefty teaspoon of it. In it goes, it's gonna give it a beautiful added flavor. But yeah, Coleman's mustard or English mustard generally, I mean, the brand is, is, is Coleman's, but there are other types you can get. That's the most famous one. It is very, very strong. It's absolutely delicious. So we're on a simmer now. Lid's gonna go back on. We're gonna leave this alone for about 15 to 20 minutes. And if some of those potatoes break down a little bit, they're gonna thicken the sauce. But yeah, this is looking just gorgeous. You can give it a stir every now and then. Okay, off goes the heat, we're done. Off comes the lid, out goes that steam. And that is an absolute beauty. Really, really incredible, lovely for the winter. That meat is gonna be super, super tender. And it's all good. Let me get that into a nice bowl. And there you go, absolutely wonderful. A big winter warmer, good old English lamb stew. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, please. Do give us a thumbs up. That helps us out a great deal. Do leave us a message. We'd like to know that you're fine, well, safe, and happy. We'll see you soon. Lots of love.